Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Cinderella. Welcome to Arthur's Puppet Theater, where you choose what happens. First, choose who's playing each part. Who do you want to play the lead role? Naturally! Who should be the fairy helper? Hey, thanks! Who should be the prince? Cool! And that means DW is the narrator. All right! And now, on with the show! Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Cinderella as directed by you. Once upon a time, there was a young lady named Cinderella. She lived with her stepmother and stepsisters, who happened to be of the evil sort. They made her do chores all day, and she was never allowed to have any fun. One night, Cinderella's stepfamily went to the royal ball. As usual, Cinderella had to stay home and clean. Suddenly... A fairy godmother appeared. Poof! I'm here! Ah! I mean, who are you? Why, I'm your fairy godmother, dearie. I'm here to get you to the royal ball. Then the fairy godmother waved her magic wand at Cinderella and said, Transformo outfitio! And quicker than you could say fashion makeover, Cinderella's rags turned into... beautiful movie star dress. Darling, it's spectacular! I'm ready for the red carpet! The fairy godmother waved her magic wand again and said, Footwario Fancimente! And in the blink of an eye, Cinderella's old shoes transformed into... New sneakers! Sneakers with a dress? Ah! It's all the rage! Finally, the fairy godmother waved her magic wand over a pumpkin and said, jack o lanterna transporto! And right before Cinderella's eyes, the pumpkin transformed into... A fancy sports car! Darling, I'll make such an entrance. Well, my job here is done, dearie. Have fun tonight. But remember, you must return by midnight, or else. Well, gotta go. Disappeario myself -o. Poof! Cinderella couldn't believe it. She was finally gonna have some fun. She jumped in the fancy sports car and sped off to the royal ball. <laughs> Cinderella was very excited as she entered the castle, and she soon caught the eye of none other than... Prince Megastar. He walked up to Cinderella and asked... Darling, you look almost as good as I do. Shall we dance? Cinderella didn't need to think twice before she said... Yes, darling, let's dance. We'll make sure the royal photographers get our good side. Now, as it turns out, the two of them had such a wonderful time dancing that they lost track of time. And suddenly, the clock began to strike twelve. You must return by midnight, or else, Ghostio Disappeario! <gasps> Sorry, darling! My star power is failing! I have to go! But darling, what about us? We're trending on social media! Don't make me post a sad emoji! At least give me your account name! 
But Cinderella had already run off, losing one of her sneakers along the way. Outside the castle walls, Cinderella heard a final stroke of midnight fade away. Suddenly, her dress, her sneakers, and her sports car all transformed back to their original form with a loud Cinderella exclaimed, Oh, what an amazing night! Dancing with the prince was such fun! <sighs> it was a dream come true! And so Cinderella walked home, thinking about everything that had happened that night. The next morning, the prince decided to search for his future princess, and he knew just where to start. His own ballroom. Perhaps she's hiding under the table. Ahem. Darling, it is I, the handsome prince. Come on out. We can take a selfie. Well, that usually works. But the prince was determined, so he went on his way to search throughout the kingdom. Later that day, Cinderella was cleaning her stepfamily's house when she heard the knock on the door. It was the prince, and he was holding the missing sneaker. I have been searching everywhere on social media, and in real life, too. If this fits your foot, you will co-star in my upcoming romantic comedy, Two Goats and a Moat. And if you will have me, I will also be your husband. Cinderella tried on the sneaker, and of course, it fit. <laughs> Surprisingly, I found someone I love more than myself. My true love! Me too! See you later, alligators! So Cinderella and her prince returned to the palace and lived happily ever after. And the moral of the story is, if you ever have the chance to dance in a castle, do it. You never know who you might meet. The End Tap the play button to watch the show you made, or tap the new button to make a new story with different choices.